Hello everybody! Here's preview video for this week's auction. We got a lot of stuff. This old 1948 dated Camels poster. Hardly any of these survived. There's a little bit of damage on it. You know, but pretty cool. So I figured I'd just start with that, but we will actually uh, probably start over here, blow down through this stuff here. We're still getting stuff cleaned up, so there'll be some some stuff in the way. We're starting off with good stuff. Look at that handmade uh, backgammon and chess and checkers board. There's no pieces, but I mean, that's back when somebody knew, knew what they were doing. Um, military stuff, drafting stuff. A lot of watch repair things. Um, one of the guys was uh, a watch repairman. A couple of World War II Navy fighting knives. Um, kind of interesting. Legion of Honor. Different states Masonic stuff. Royal Order of Jesters in there. And a whole bunch of other Masonic and different lapel pins. Old tools. Some records. Some jewelry. You're you're probably going to find some, I know you'll find some silver in there, you might find some gold. Um, more jewelry here, coins, a lot of coins. There is a 1778 Russian Kopec in there. And there's also a reported uh, year 1100 Chinese coin. Look at the photos for more information and of course come in for preview. Um, some knives. Some more coins, more watches, jewelry, more coins, straight razors, more knives, ephemera, some military stuff, more film stuff, more fraternal and more and watches in there, more old handmade knives. A lot of neat stuff on top. A couple of uh, Masonic swords, Knights Templar, and I'm not sure what this one is. Off. That's Columbus, maybe? That one's Knights Templar. Autographed baseballs. Old bus tickets, Kansas City bus tickets, I'm thinking is what those are, bus passes. Military stuff and more. There's some western knives back there, Glenn. Alright. Stuff on the floor. We filled it up. military stuff, play school toys, slot cars, pieces, some parts, some ammo over there. There's a little bitty wingback chair. <coughs> it was turned around, but I think when we took the picture, it didn't put it back in, but it's pretty cute. Check out the picture. Neat, uh, you know, case for a diving camera. Glass and vintage. Sign football. I'm sorry, I don't know who. Hot Wheels. Does not get any more folk art and primitive than that guitar right there. Bunch of country music uh, photos. Somebody probably worked at KFKF. Autograph stuff. And then there's some testers in here. Some old toys and radios. Cool stuff. Look at that. Somebody knew what they were doing there. Big Santa Fe box car. These are killer. Soul Asylum from when they played at Parody Hall. Uh, DBs with Yola Tango from the Lone Star. 
LA guns from the Lone Star KY 102 that's I mean, pretty cool there's not a lot of that stuff around some kind of flag there Episcopal Church maybe or something neat Austin Western porcelain ice sign uh, nicely mounted tools, some railroad flares, these are great, old selective end machines, this one has the key, this one this bolt acts as the key, both are reported to work just fine, I love that, James Fails, New Bedford, Massachusetts, Nautical Instruments, Advertising Mirror, A lot of neat stuff up here, and some not so neat stuff up here, but it's up here. That's where it's staying. That's weird, kind of trench arty kind of vase with a girl on there. I can make that out. A neat old telephone box. There is a Pioneer SX1500T. I think we've about hit it. You know, we're probably just going to go around the room like we used to, maybe change it up a little bit, but some jewelry over there. Pieces, some neat re retro uh, red chairs. This is awesome. This jukebox uh, it comes with these speakers. They're just like uh, MCS speakers, but they actually sound really, really good. So it's on pre free play. Two nine o two. Wall mounted CD player. Oh, there it goes. Volumes on the bottom here. What a crappy video this turned out to be, but pretty cool. Turn it back down. I'm sure that was a wonderful cinematic experience for all of you. That's a neat big old plank of wood. The guy was going to make a sign out of it, but never got around to it, so. So you can do that. It's a chandelier. So I put some posts and lives and old newspapers over here. Coca-Cola and some brand new like NASCAR and more caps. Um, motorcycle seat. Killer old electric churn over there. Uh, neat Eads water bottle. Some more needle bottles and such. It's a nice piece of McCoy. A bunch of old tack and old tools there. We'll just blow that all out one money. Neat stuff there. Over here, all these signs. They're repro. Um, this one isn't though. Priscilla. Weight marked diamond rings. And these are neat, probably like carnival signs. That's a cool little whole group. A bunch of oil cans over here. Different old oil cans.
good old, uh, I was going to say military, but Atlantic Pacific Manufacturing Company life vest there, some license plates, jerry can. And I'll show you stuff on the wall while I'm over here. Mirror. There is a cover from uh, Wizard of Oz book. A duck. Some more of those vintage old signs or re retro signs. There's a Schlitz light. Can't quite get her to stay lit. So you're going to have to work on it a little bit. But nonetheless, pretty cool piece. Great racetracks here. Chop cycles, torture track, inside track, Harry Hurdle set, power pit, sizzler stuff. Little toys in the flat there. Riker mount with little bottle caps and church keys and stuff. Sports cards, comic books, piano spindles, player piano stuff. And a lot of these, you know, from the 60s. Six pack bottle holders. 50s, but these are from the 50s, I bet. That's all pretty cool stuff. More racetrack stuff. Coming over here. Um, yeah, just look. Hand embroidered. I hear cassette tapes are coming back. Like I hear 8-tracks are coming back. I have not seen it down here. Except for some of the people buying them seem pretty happy about it. But they're still selling for pretty cheap down here. And there's more stuff over here. Tools and whatnot. Six gallon crock, chop saw, cell phone stuff. And there's some miscellaneous glass and porcelain on this table. Nice dishes, newer, you know, but still nice, good quality stuff. There's fire and ice, you know, recycled glass, made pieces. Some other funky stuff over here. And some other rugs, big rugs. 37 by. Damn, stickers have fell off of them already. 43 by 72. Look at the photos, they're in, that stickers are in the photos. That second one was a little small. Uh, this is about 70 by 96. This one is about 33 by 66, right? Seems about right. This is a cool cabinet here. I like this. Neat little primitive piece. See because the sun's washing it out. A lot of furniture, you know, not a ton, but you no, know, probably about a ton. Sofa table, dresser with mirror, set of twin beds, everything's there. Just got it all right there ready for you. These are cool chairs. It's old school or church chairs or something with a little pocket on the back of each. Cute. Display cabinet, Ethan Allen dresser with a mirror. Neat upholstered chair, pottery barn style, a couple of those. Some more oak chairs. Some patio stuff. Some counter chairs. I think these love seats are I think these love seats are cool. Kind of mid-century style, sit low to the ground two of them exactly the same size um, made by what did it say De Leon Kansas City Kansas back here we've got uh, looks like a mower uh, mower chipper I guess and another greenworks mower a little stove there a wood stove 
looks like that. Okay, then we'll go around here. Um, tell you what, we'll probably hop all the way down to the end down here. I think is how we did it. And we're probably going to sell that camel poster that's coming up here a little earlier in the auction. I'm not exactly sure when, but a little earlier. The primitive lights. I mean, this stuff is farm freaking fresh. Hasn't even really been wiped down. There's the old chicken coop. Another old antique primitive cabinet there. Morning petroleum pipeline. Markers that have been replaced. Um, here we've got a bunch of displays. What more from the watchmaking guy, Bulova displays, Caravel display. Um, this is like a bow making machine. Um, a lot of primitive stuff in here, a lot of stuff I couldn't even tell you what the hell it is. Um, that's cool, look there's more of those watch stands, watch displays, probably 15 or 20 of them. Um, So a lot of stuff on these shelves. This is killer, the old National Hockey League electric hockey game. Looks like all the players are there. Some prints, miscellaneous prints. Looks like camel sign again. More stuff on these tables here. With baby dishes and some handwork leather stuff. Old lunch box. Military stuff, toys, or models, industrial light, ephemera, um, kind of more of the same. And then we've got some pallets, as usual. I think we've got four pallets. This one is full of vintage fabric. Full of vintage fabric on a pallet. All one money. There's somebody's like blast furnace that they made, or you know, sandblasting thing, like a homemade deal. Crazy. That's how an old guy used to do things. That's neat. Federal fruit. Then it's got the World War One squadron. I can't, I'm losing it right now, but you know, hat in the ring logo on there. A lot of neat crates. Primitive boxes, tubs, and things like that. So, whoa, excuse me. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's about it for me. I'm going to cut out. So, uh, yeah, thanks, you guys, and we'll, we're looking forward to seeing you on Thursday. It should be a great auction. Bye.